Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on these Wemo light switches. Because um, I needed to install two of them, one to do a hallway light. And that one works just fine. But then the problem that I was having was in the instructions It says right here that if you have a three-way switch <clears throat> uh, that you can't use these. So I thought I'd look up some wiring diagrams on how to wire a three-way switch. Um, obviously I already pulled it out, but the switch goes here, four wire nuts, and uh, go in there like that. And they give you this nice uh, toolless faceplate, uh, which I could I have to buy a new one. But anyways, so I thought I'd look around because on these three-way switches, uh, you have your your line voltage or your hot, and then these two are called travelers. And then you have your your ground. I'm not an electrician by any means, um, so I may have some of these terms incorrect. But anyway, so one hot goes to typically this black lug, which this one's a push in. Same two lugs on the other switch. So the other switch is basically the same thing where the other half of the hot is over there. So whenever you flip this switch, um, in my case down is, down is this black traveler wire. Actually sorry, black or sorry down is actually the red traveler wire on the other switch and then black is going to be, I might have that wrong, but anyway, so the other switch, if I have it down in this position, it is the red wire, and then if I have it up on the other switch, it's this black wire, so I thought, why not, I never use that switch anyway, it's in the garage, so I figured why not try wiring it into one of the you know, into just one of the legs instead of having to pull the pull the new cable just to do this, which is kind of a pain. I don't like doing it. So it seems to have worked. Um, grab my phone, and then we'll come over here to the uh, the Wemo app. And then you can kind of see here. So I'm gonna go outside real quick. I just want these to turn on and off at sunrise and sunset. So if I come out here and I pop that, then you can see that it came on. The Wemo app's kind of slow. So you'll see that it's on right there. So then if I hit it again, you'll see that it turns off. So the way that I wired this up just want to make sure I'm getting this in the footage. But anyway, so I took the green, put it on the ground, and then since down on the other switch is this red wire, I ran that to one leg of this black wire. 
So you can see here the two blacks. So one, one leg is going to the hot, and then, so this one's hot, and then this one is in the down position at the other switch. This one obviously needs a wire nut, but I wanted to test it out prior to cleaning this mess up. So I just thought I'd put that out there because everything online is like, oh, well, you gotta run new, new wire, this, that, and the other, which I can understand if it was in a area where both switches were used, but the other half of of this switch of this switch is in the garage and I'm the only one that ever uses the garage so I figured the down position would actually be the best so I don't accidentally turn it off but all this is going to do is control my exterior lights I'm running Sighthound um, security so they have some IFTTT integration so I may even program one of these so that uh, if if I get somebody coming through my front door it will flash the light <clears throat> or maybe turn on this hallway light which that one was pretty easy that was just a single pull switch but anyways I thought I'd put this up for anyone that was wondering and also for future reference for myself because uh, I may be doing a few more of these. I ended up uh, getting them on Amazon for 30 bucks a piece which isn't bad since they're normally 50. Uh, but anyways, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.